new alternative. We made it to the middle of the week. That's good. That's good. Get yeah. there. Wednesday morning, and uh, it is the Woody Show. Hey, welcome back. It's the Woody Show. We're uh, talking about that uh, video that I saw of like one of those how it's made. Sandwich, sandwich factory, sandwich factory, or whatever. Oh. I thought of Greg because Greg's a big fan of mayonnaise. Oh, I love it. Loves mayonnaise. Here is the uh, here is the clip. Help them pass through the upcoming machinery. For this sandwich, a jizz of mayonnaise is required, <laughs> which is squirted onto the bread via an automated dispenser. Okay, so okay. check it out, uh, people on the text. The show that Woody is talking about, whether he had the clip, is actually called "How It's Actually Made." Oh. And the guy has a ton of videos on YouTube making parodies of those How It's Made videos, and they're hilarious. Okay. Ah. So it's a guy doing like a, okay. uh, a thing. Mm-hmm. See, okay. now I want to see the rest of it. Okay. I will watch all his it's videos. Called, oh, yeah. It's called How It's Actually Made. That's funny. <laughs> a jizz of mayonnaise. <laughs> Got it. And squirted. That's so funny. <laughs> Squirt is funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> see, you just can't go with the uh, things that you see on the internet, you guys. This is, no. a, this is a good lesson. Mm-hmm. Good reminder. Deep dive. Yeah, I just I never heard of this guy, but that's funny. It's really funny. Uh, oh, speaking of things you can't believe online. So, uh, Ravi would like everybody to know oh, yeah. that uh, scammers are using uh, Ravi's, like, they've created this account, but they're that's using, right. like, Ravi's likeness. It's there and name everything name. the Renee Ravy show on Facebook. The Renee Ravy show, you yeah. guys. I'm look Coming at up. you. I know, and this is don't a, look it up. It's been a problem in the past. <laughs> yeah. And it's back. We've all got yeah. hit by it. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, what it says is you can win $750 if you get a comment from me. Oh. Only it's not me. Right. And uh-huh. here's the thing this is what has me just like red hot with rage. <laughs> So many, like, Woody Show fans and friends of mine have reported these, right? To You report Facebook. it to Facebook as a fraudulent uh-huh. account. And so I keep getting emails from Facebook saying, your account was reported, but we found nothing wrong. We're leaving it up. And it's like... And you're the person telling right. them. I'm like, yeah. this is not so not me. only are your friends reporting it, I'm reporting it as a scam, and Facebook's doing nothing. It's pretty frustrating because I... I have to think like how many reports have to be done right. <laughs> to take something down. Yeah. But here's what's crazy. Okay, so mm-hmm. we'll have something like a carton arcs or there, there'll be something else innocuous. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? That Flagged. stuff comes down immediately. Flagged. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Something that is clearly an obvious fake and scam. Scamming. Clearly a scam. Not even something like, I don't know if I agree with the taste of that. You know, mm-hmm. video or right, right. what you uh-huh. used a little mm-hmm. clip of whatever in this, and I, don't, I that might be AI generated. I don't mm-hmm. know, like that kind of stuff. Right, that's harmless and not scamming people no. out of anything. We're leaving this up. That stays. I mean, that, that stuff comes down. Right. This thing with like Ravi mm-hmm. and the other one that we were dealing with at one point. That stuff will stay up there forever. Yeah, and I'm no like, matter how many times you complain, it's unbelievable. Even if you take like the copyright angle. On mm-hmm. because they're also like regenerating images, that right? They've taken yeah. images of me, images of the Woody Show, right? Still our animations, right? Still won't take anything now. Yeah. So you, if you see something like that, we found this yeah. to be legitimate. And what's even worse, also, just FYI. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to get you to enter in your uh, credit card information so you can receive your prize, which oh. is ugh, totally bogus. They also they're you're gonna get money. We need your credit card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're pretty. They're. uh they they make it look pretty real because they also generate a bunch of other fake accounts that looks like listeners have already done it. Mm. Right. And listeners have told me they're like, "Oh, it looks like people are doing it." I'm like, "No, that's totally fake as well." Right. They're just trying to convince you that it's real. Yeah. So anyway, if you see something like that and it's not the Woody Show right. account if you at see the Woody Show, the Renee Ravy Show, that is not a thing. Never existed. Seven hundred and fifty dollars if you get a comment from me. That's what it says. Yeah. And I'm like, I'd like to think that our listeners are smart enough to ferret out that this is a scam, but then we see the texts every day. <laughs> I know. Right. And so I'm just concerned. And then we get to work. Yeah. 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 Do you think and it's the sheer the volume of line. complaints? Like would it help if I also reported it? I no. mean, you would report it and the, it I would just... get an email saying you reported it and then it'll come Say back to me. Fine. Oh, we found you're fine. Okay. You're good. Right. So nobody's yeah. looking. Yeah, nobody's looking. That sucks. Last time, like, 
on the back end, we did hundreds of reports and still nothing. Um, so Jeez. today, apparently the guy who's like uh, the CEO or whatever of TikTok, he's in Washington today going yeah. before. Um, well, he, he's going to be speaking to any Senate member who will see him. Oh, OK. <laughs> and because they're, they're doing this whole thing about, um, you know, Should banning, TikTok be shut down, banning Here. TikTok. And, yeah. and Biden has already come out and said he will that uh, if it hits his desk and, you know, whatever, that he would sign it. Now, that's one side of things, because one of the things they say, well, over in China, mm-hmm. where, you know, where TikTok is headquartered, kids see, you know, math videos and, you know, other educational, like, you know, just yeah. sandwich. Oh, yeah. yeah right. About how a sandwich is made. Yep. Yeah. You know, they'll see educational stuff. Mm-hmm. It's uh, all but STEM. Then, yeah, but then here in America, that's Very not... Different. It's all dance videos. And, <laughs> right. Yeah. And, uh, and worse. Down. And worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway... Um, there's a whole thing about like, you know, because there's certain places that have already uh, banned social media for kids under a certain age. I, I forget what, you know, Montana or something, something like that already, you know, banned right. TikTok or whatever. So um, it would make it illegal to distribute apps developed by ByteDance. That's the company that owns TikTok unless the company sells the app within 180 days of the bill becoming law, which I don't know how you force someone to sell a company. Well, they're just not going to be able to run it, so they they're going to have to sell it. Well, I'm saying it's a force to sell. Yeah, well, I'm saying the same way that uh, you know, there's certain things that you know are produced here that aren't allowed in China, or other com- mm-hmm. c- uh, countries don't allow, um, you know, certain like food items or whatever. There are certain right. food items, yep. or edits of movies and whatnot well, that you're not allowed sure. to. You're not allowed to sell like in I forget where it is, but like the the craft macaroni and cheese that we have here is different. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, because every, there's certain things that you can't have in your product outside right. the United States. Yeah, the food, right. uh, the ingredients are much yeah. different on a lot of the stuff that we hear. But, now, to sound a little uh, paranoid. Um, I did read something where one of the arguments against it, like they're like, "Look, I hate TikTok too. I find it, you know, I I see the concern. Okay, but there's a bigger concern that if all of a sudden you're giving the government the ability to just ban social media sites or all like a, a particular website, they'll come up with something like, oh, because it doesn't fit whatever party or whoever's the government's agenda, yeah. they can just shut it down. Yeah." And they'll use something like this. It's how a lot of people were getting uh, well, right you, after nine eleven. There was you know about homeland security. Oh, homeland right. security. Yeah. You know, and uh, all this stuff would happen just under the oh, you just throw up oh, COVID. Right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nope, COVID. Yeah. A lot of things happen in the name of. Sure. But really, there was others. There were other purposes to that. When you start banning stuff, then you become China. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, but That's- social media, I mean, it's TikTok especially the way that it is and the way the algorithm works and how quickly you roll through the videos and the dopamine to the brain, it's really more like a drug in trying yeah. to regulate something like that than it is free speech. Well, you're never going to get rid of social media. Social media is yeah. here to stay. I the, the concern with TikTok is that it's a uh you know, it's a, it's an adversary. China is an adversary, right, and China. they're collecting information about Americans. They're able to, you know, propagate, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, uh, because there's a they, huge reach. They can make anything popular that they Correct. want to. Right. Correct. But I think the potential answer of selling to an American company sounds decent. Yeah, but I don't, again, I don't know like, how why you... Why would TikTok rather, wouldn't yeah. they rather just sell it than, than not exist in America? Abs- absolutely. They'd uh, rather just sell it than... Right. Then because then it's a wash. Yeah. Know, yeah. Then they make no a, money off of it. America's a huge market, but okay, let's say, and for the sake of argument, let's say China had some beef with Apple, mm-hmm. right? And they go, well, you know, uh, yeah, we're going to pass this law, and then you got to, or, or you got to have to sell within 180 days. Mm-hmm. You know, like Apple's going to go, oh, okay, we'll just sell it. Because, you know, China comes up with some law yeah. that's against that. Like, well, I, well, like if the tables were turned, you mean? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, if it was an American company, company in China, be uh, sell whatever whatever we're talking about, then to just not exist in that country. But yeah. when they still exist, I mean, China's a huge market. They're they're everywhere uh, else in the world. If they're just banned here, yeah, that's a that's mm-hmm. a big you yeah. Know. But if they can again make money or not make any money mm-hmm. off it, I'm, I think they'll, they'll take the money the off. Money. And, yeah. Hmm. So that sounds like a decent solution. Look, I don't care what they do. I don't have TikTok. I don't, I don't care TikTok. about TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm I'm just, you know, I, I'm hearing all sides and I'm just wondering, you know, is there a real answer or is there anything that's even going to happen here? 
Well, uh, I mean, if it gets banned, everybody's just going to move back to Instagram. Right. And Instagram will be super happy. Mm. I will offer to buy it for <laughs> oh. thousands of dollars. <laughs> thousands nice. of dollars. Like, thousands, like almost 10000 cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I love how Sammy's always super obsessed with the site psychological part of it yeah that you know people, oh yeah people well, can't help oh, themselves yeah. well they can't <laughs> you know like i'm a, i am obsessed with I it i that. think <laughs> that tiktok really again it, it is on a, on a completely different level than other social medias and you can brainwash through it and it's so quick everyone gets in that days through tiktok yes. where an hour can go by and or you don't Instagram. even know that's what i'm saying you can do that with any but it's quicker yeah. with tiktok it's triggering different things yes yeah, so yeah that's where, that's where you and i would disagree i don't yeah i don't think it's one app over another i think it's whatever app you've gravitated towards maybe for you it's TikTok. Oh no, I don't go on TikTok. Are oh, you not? No. Okay. I think so, t- TikTok definitely pops way more than any other social media. Like for me, it's like man, better. I, I go to just to see like what we're got, you know, what we've posted or whatever on mm-hmm. on keep an eye on the Woody Show account, right? Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, I've been on there for forty five mm-hmm. minutes mm-hmm. looking at nonsense. Yeah. Okay. Nonsense. Gin sandwich. Right. right. Like, okay. just, uh-huh. Nonsense. Sure, sure. I mean, it's fun and whatever, but like. It's, 45 minutes to an hour has yeah. just evaporated. And especially if it's an algorithm that's feeding, you know, whatever, whatever it'll uh, reinforce, I think, what after, like, I, yeah. yeah, whatever yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. So if you're like a super mm. political person, it's going to make you even more nuts. Yeah. If you're mm. a super sports, like you're going to get even more, uh, you know, you're going to get deeper in. Mine is right. 95% cats. Sport. Cat. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I get uh, every dog video mm-hmm. on earth. That's right. uh, but, sent to me. Oh, totally. What I'm trying to say is... If you're missing a leg, I've seen your video. <laughs> you have to be self-aware that this stuff is going on. Of course, yeah. but children yeah. don't have the ability I don't to... Care about kids either. ...be yeah. self-aware on this kind <laughs> well, of stuff yet. So, like, being a as adults, parent. yes. But as yeah. kids, no. And that is why I think it needs to be regulated like a drug would be regulated. See, I... Mm, I don't yeah, agree with that. Then it's just a major slippery slope. Yeah. Because potato chips lead to obesity. So we really need to monitor... Or maybe even banned potato chips, you know? No, well, I'm saying uh, for cheese, because, though, because if you don't to control yourself, you're going to eat too well, many yeah. chips. They said the same thing about, uh, you know, music with dirty words in it or video, video games, games with violence in it or kids watching yeah. too much cartoons. It's called self-control. You know, yeah. uh, before called, all the social media, it was that stuff. It's called parenting. Right. <sighs> I mean, I agree with you. It can be addictive. Yeah. I mean, God forbid you click the videos on Instagram and then <laughs> it's like pit bulls and... And like I said, I follow this count called Kids Getting Hurt. It's hilarious. Like, <laughs> like getting hit with balls or falling wow. off teeter totters. And, and the Jeez. next thing you know, an hour has gone by. Right. Yeah. And but you're guess, watching kids getting hurt. But guess who I blame for that? Not China, me. Right. Yeah. But it is, it is, you know, something where it has learned you so well that it right. sucks you in right. and you've gone down the rabbit hole and time has vanished. Right. Yep. They, vanished. They made a good product, guys. Yeah. Have you ever okay, so have you ever like got a television a- show if it's really good, <laughs> you keep watching it. But it's endless. Mm-hmm. The show yeah. eventually yeah. ends. Right. Or the movie eventually ends, yeah. even if it's four TV hours. It doesn't it, end. Yes, it does. The show's over. The episode's yeah, but then over. The next thing's on TV. Yeah. No, but we're talking like what if you could have infinite television breaking bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm that I think the the addiction part of it is real. I was listening to George Norrie, you know, up all night, Mm -hmm. and uh, his guest said, (laughs) because because of things like TikTok, basically what's happening, China has information on everybody. Sure. They're using that to work with Russia, and (laughs) the big war is coming. Like, they're coming to get us. Okay. But he also said, Base, like they're going to dance us to death." No, they're going to no. like what dances we well, hate the they most. Made a movie about about it. They're going to called... bomb us into oblivion mm. on our own soil because of things like TikTok, because they've wormed their way into everything. But he also said, "If the summer, if it doesn't happen this summer, then it might not happen for quite a while." Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Well, so it's kind of, yeah. Look out this summer, yeah, but if it doesn't happen this summer. this summer, how, how would you not, connect the two? Yeah, I hope it's not this summer because I got a lot of stuff. Do you going got on. plans? This guy's good. Yeah. This guy's good. As, as a person who's uh, very familiar with uh, promotion and marketing, and think part of our job, what we got going on, you got all, there's always a sense of urgency. <laughs> so you got to have that summer angle. I'm like, but if they oh quote, my god, if they George quote, <laughs> wanted to bomb us. What does TikTok have to do with it? Just that's how they got the information, and that's how they've 
fattened us all up and got us distracted we're too fat from to run. the big yeah. plan. Yeah, we're too fat to run <laughs> from the bombs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't get the bombing. <laughs> and George yeah. is just letting this guy go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he's got to fill time. He's on, it's the middle of the night. He's trying yeah. to stay awake. He doesn't have any songs. <laughs> Yeah, just let this guy talk. He doesn't have like a really cool chili pepper song nope, to play or something. Nope, <laughs> nope, he's just letting him go. Just letting it roll. <laughs> All right, so we are giving you a chance to get the hell out of town. We got this uh, Disney cruise. It's a seven night Mediterranean Disney cruise. Is it happening before summer? Uh, no, actually. Well, I get the Mediterranean should be fine. Well, also let's just hope you know that uh, George Norrie's guest. Is wrong. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Right. In the meantime, you'll have a three hundred dollar Disney gift card that you can use. Nice. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the question for today, and you want to go to the Woody and enter the correct answer for a chance to be in the running. What material comes from trees that is used to build structures? Hmm. Now again, there are a couple answers that you know could be, but we're looking for like the main one. The main yeah. Yeah, the main one. We're looking for the Woody Show type answer. What material comes from trees that is used to build structures? Take your answer right now to thewoodyshow.com. Win a seven-night voyage through the Mediterranean on a Disney cruise line with the Woody Show. Better pack my swim shirt for the pool. That's huge. Get all aboard with Disney characters, imaginative dining, and more. Grabbing my fancy dining bib. And experience the shores of some of the world's grandest destinations with fantastical flavors and alluring locales. This Disney Cruise Line adventure, because the time to see the world is now. Go to thewoodyshow.com for a chance to win. All 98.7.